So I think the first thing for me was that I have not at any point known what my next step was going to be. I mean, actually, I did a maths and politics degree. I clearly don't know what I'm going to do. So I think from that point of view, I, I think there is a, I think the first thing is establishing what feels stuck. And, um, you know, like I say, it's kind of you, you quite, the easiest thing to do when you're looking for inspiration around what your next step is, is to look up. But I think it's firstly asking yourself, is that actually the direction you want to go? Do you want to go left and then up? Or, you know, actually, what do you want to do? And I think that then helps you establish what elements are stuck, for want of a better word. And um, you can just start to get a bit more clarity. Because I think I, I've never, well, yeah, I've never known what I'd want to do. But basically, that's partly my indecision. But I think it's partly just wanting to keep as many doors open as possible and I think it's the main thing I think throughout and I only realize this now but basically realizing through at each stage as you're thinking about okay my you know my time in this role is here and I kind of want to move on is what doors do you want to keep open and which ones are you definitely happy to close because ideally in an ideal world you keep every single door open for the rest of your life but to extend a metaphor too far, you you do end up at least closing them too, even if they're not completely shut, certain doors, because you have to make choices. You can't do this massive job that involves everything. So I think it's actually at each stage going, right, you know, I enjoy, you know, there's a reason why I took that job in the first place. What was it that I actually enjoyed? What did I enjoy less of? Okay, well, actually, is there a role that boosts that and removes the other element? And then basically, once you've realised more and more, you start to get a bit of a broader picture. So I started off at the BBC, where I originally was in research, and the number weren't quite enough numbers for me, so I moved into marketing analytics within the BBC, and then there weren't enough numbers for me, so I moved into retail, and that's where I've been at Marks and Spencer. And so from that point of view, I've known through, you know, that was me knowing that I want to get more technical. And so that was my tick box. I was looking for something that was looking for more language, more coding languages and more exposure to statistical techniques each time. And now I've got to the point that, OK, well, now I want more exposure to stakeholders and decision making and all of those sorts of things. And so then it's kind of finding those roles throughout and moving it through. So I think it's one just actually taking stock and going, well, actually, what do I want from this? And then finding those elements, because it's a lot easier. You know, there's all sorts of roles and, you know, just two seconds on LinkedIn trying to find any job. You Firstly, what words are you going to type in? Because every every single company's got a different word for everything. But also, like, actually what skill sets you want to get out of it. You can then start to hone it down a bit more. And, you can, and also, you can start to talk to people about it a bit more. You can realise, well, actually, is it a course that I'm missing? Or... If it's confidence thing, are there communities out there that I can use, or is there anyone in my network that I can really harness for that for that skill as opposed to another one, or do they know someone that's in that industry who they could introduce me? I think it's just actually pinpointing it because there are so many roles, particularly in data, and it's just going to keep growing and growing and growing, and you're going to get more and more lost unless you know what you want as opposed to what the industry wants. What do you want from this? Angela, that that question, what do you want? What do you want to do? Like it sounds like it sounds like such a simple question, but oh, it's right. so it's like one of the most difficult questions you could possibly ask. But it's yeah. it's one of those questions that all of us, right, need to be thinking yeah. about, uh, no matter where we are in our in our career. Like that's the question. That's the most important question that we need to be asking ourselves regularly, be thinking hard about. What is it I'm currently doing? What am I passionate about? And it's really cool to hear kind of your your career progression as you kind of gravitated towards, I want to do more with numbers. I want to do more yeah. with numbers. And and then and now it's like I want to do more with numbers and I want to tell the stories and and just seeing how that that kind of passion that kind of led you through these various roles to where you are now. And you're still like asking like what do I want to do? <laughs> how is, how, how am I, but and also like you kind of find through that kind of your 
at the deepest level, like you're calling, like this is what I'm meant to do, right? Tell these stories, help nurture and build up this next group of strong women in data science. Like that's ultimately like, that's such a cool way that you've kind of progressed. Thank you so much for checking out this clip from the Data Talk podcast. To watch the full episode, you can either go to the Experian blog. The URL is experian.com slash datatalk, or you can click on the link which is found in the description of this video.